What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Craniac Gaming, and we're finally going to start the Sacramento State College Hoops 2K8 Legacy, and we take on Kansas State in the first game of the season. Now, Kansas State's basketball program isn't really storied, to say the least, but it's still going to be a tough game. They're still a Big 12 team, so it's going to be a really rough first game, I'm thinking, but we're going to have to see what happens. Kansas State's starting off fast as Cross White gets a layup. And we're tied at two now. It's Sacramento State ball. Here's the pass to Nelson Evans off the front of the rim and in. So now it's a 4-2 lead for Sacramento State. As we hung in there early in this game as Toppert makes the basket. Mid-range jumper. So now it's tied at four. Now Evans with the three. No, his foot was on the line. So it's only two. But another basket for Nelson Evans. It's six for Hornets now. And then Kansas State. Here's Toppert. And Foster didn't even get his hands up there, and Kansas State takes the lead, it's seven to six. And a missed shot, rebound by Sean Brock. Here's Foster inside to Evans, and Evans with the layup, and now it's eight to seven. Now nine to seven. Davis gonna pass inside to Zhang, and Zhang with a big dunk to tie it at nine. So now it's Kansas State ball again, no good on the three, and then Starkey with the rebound, puts it back up, gets the bucket and the foul. It's going to make it a 12 to 9 game. Here's Evans. Nice little triple threat there. He's going to lay it up and get his own basket in the foul. So tied it at 12. Kansas State gets to the line, gets the first free throw. No good. And it's rebounded by Starkey and put right back in. And then it's going to happen again right here. This time Zhang gets the rebound, puts it back in. Now Kansas State's starting to pull away a little bit. 18 to 12 midway through the first quarter. And then here's Shane Bliss going to pass it over to Topper. Topper working against Sokolov. And he tries to pass it and gets swatted away, but Kansas State retains possession. They're going to hit a three here from Davis. So now it's 21 to 12, and Foster going to cough the ball up, picked up by Topper as we're trying to slow him down, but he's just getting right past the defense there. And Topper going to swing it over to Davis for an easy three. Now Kansas State up 12. Now it's 24 to 14 after some free throws, and then Jang going to go up. Gets the bucket and the foul. Van Vector with the foul. And that's 27 to 14. <laughs> and I mean, this game started off pretty close, but Kansas State started to pull away as Topper with another three. Easy bucket. 30 to 14 right now. Um, just over three minutes ago, it's 32 to 16. And it's just looking ugly for the Hornets now. Zhang going to shoot this one inside the line. So 34 to 16 is your score now. Now 36 to 18. It's two minutes to go, but a nice steal there by Leno. Turkstein's going to drive down the court and dunk it in. So 36 to 20. We're starting to cut into the lead a little bit. Then there's a swing out to Foster, and Foster's going to get the three. So it's 36 to 23. We're starting to slow down the bleeding a little bit. We go into the half down 38 to 23. And we started off the first half at least hanging in there with Kansas State, but they just really pulled away thanks to Zhang and Topper, just to name a few. And then Al Evans really gets a steal there, but instead Jang's going to end up getting the ball and getting the layup. So now it's 40 to 23. And then here's a swing out the topper. Foster again doesn't get his hands up. And now we're down 20. I mean, it's looking really ugly at this point. And then Foster going to try to answer back with his own three, and he succeeds. So we're back down 17. Later on in the second half, it's 45 to 27, and then a layup from Starkey's gonna make it a 47-27 game. A 49-27. Leno's gonna get a rebound off the missed free throw, but he's not gonna be able to get the basket back up. And on the other side, Davis able to get two points. So now it's 51 to 27. It's just looking ugly now. I mean. We can try as we may, but it's just not looking like we're going to be able to come back in this one. But Foster with the three. So now it's 51 to 30. I mean, this team is showing a little bit of heart. I mean, at least they're not giving up, at least up to this point. Down 53 to 31 now. And Reynolds going to lay it up himself. 55 to 31. Jeez, this was just an ugly game, honestly, all around. As Davis is going to put this one up. Wide open, 57 to 31. So now it's our ball again. We're trying to make something happen. As Brock's going to swing it out to Christopher Hornsby for the two. His foot was inside the line. So 57 to 33 now. And then here's a swing to 
Grant, but he's going to pass it cross court to Davis, and Davis somehow makes it 59 to 33. And your final would actually be 71 to 45. So the season didn't start off the way we wanted it to. I mean, it could have gone a lot better. Starkey was actually the player of the game with 15 points, seven rebounds, and four steals. I mean, he had a great game. But I think it was more we just played really badly more than anything else. I mean, you're not going to beat too many teams if you're turning the ball over 18 times a game. But especially if you're like a you're like a small school and you're playing against a Power Five conference team. I mean, you're just going to have a bad time. That's all it is. But anyways, Clarence Foster and Nelson Evans both had 17 points apiece. Nobody else got over four for the Hornets. So, disappointing game all around. So, now we're at the recruiting point of this video. And I actually kind of need you guys' help. Or not necessarily help, but I kind of just need you guys to give me some pointers on doing recruiting in this game. From what I've been told by a lot of people who are suggesting me to play this game over NCAA 10, I don't really know how the recruiting system works. I mean, I know like, you know, phone recruits, offer scholarships and all that, but I definitely need some pointers on how to go about just like building my team in general. I mean, just, I need help on recruiting. So if you guys have any pointers or anything, you guys have any information that I need to know, as far as recruiting goes, you guys know any tricks or trades, you know, how, like any like tells about any, any of these players or anything like that, then make sure you hit me up in the comment section or join my Discord server and message me there. I'm on Discord almost all the time, so just hit me up there. I mean, you can follow me on Twitter as well. All those links are going to be in the description, so hit me up on any of those links i definitely need help with recruiting in this game because honestly i ne like i've had college hoops 2k for quite a while now i just never really got around to playing it like ever so this is pretty much a foreign experience to me but anyways we're gonna give you two games next video we're taking on southern utah and then we're taking on the university of san francisco after that but anyways thank you